Hi, Deanna. Hi, Deanna. Hi, how are you guys doing? Great, how are you? Doing? I'm good. I'm very sad I missed the premiere. I have to hear, how did that go? Oh, my God. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was crazy. There were so many fans there, and it was, I mean, everybody was freaking out, and the shows were amazing. Everybody was crying. It was... We received lots of adulation and praise, so <laughs> it really couldn't have gone better. <laughs> Was it, what was it like to see yourselves in town on the big screen? It was kind of wild, you know? It was a little different, wasn't it? Yeah, totally. I mean, it was it was neat. I think it could, I think it, I think we could go movies. Why not? Well, it, what was cool was it was <laughs> on such a big screen. It's shot in HD now, and it, it, it the production value is a lot better than what uh, people are used to seeing. It looks more like a primetime show now. Yeah. Ooh, sexy. Yeah. Very. So the rebirths have been a bit of a soapy roller coaster themselves, and I'm wondering, you know, it's going to come back, or they're going to come back, they're not going to come back. What was that like for you, and, and at what point did you know, oh my gosh, this is actually going to happen for us? Well, we couldn't come back without a little drama. I mean, we needed a <laughs> fantastic entrance, so right. <laughs> it took about a year to make that kind of entrance. But uh, what Prospect Park, the new producing entity, is doing is they have brand new eyes on a platform that's been there for a long time. So when we move to Hulu and Hulu Plus and iTunes, you're going to see a show that has truly evolved. Soap operas kind of had a certain look for a long time. And I think part of the reason that they uh, were sort of you know, falling off the charts was they didn't evolve with the rest of television. But they have, or what we're doing now is progressive. It's faster paced. We tell edgier stories. And um, we don't necessarily wear as many clothes as we used to. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were all really sad too that you know we thought that the shows were over and that this wonderful tradition and this connection to our our audiences and to each other as as family was like gone and, and it was really a bummer. So when it came, got the news that it came back. I mean, my jaw dropped. I w I will really and a lot of people didn't believe it. I mean, I I was kind of like suspicious as well. I was like, really, really, but no, really. Yeah. <laughs> we got the band back together, y'all. The band is back. <laughs> oh my god, the videos from the photo shoot, it just seemed like you guys were having so much fun just being back together. Yeah, it, it really was. It was just so exciting and, and we just can't wait for everybody to join us and to see it and to be a part of it. So what else can we expect from the reboot? We got the new, you know, style and, you know, does it feel like we're going back to the same shows? Do they feel like new shows? I think it's a little combination of both, don't you? Yeah, that was, when I say that they've evolved, what I mean is they're faster paced, they're a half hour long now, but when we were on network, we, when you included the commercials, we were 36 minutes of programming. So now we're 30 minutes of programming. So it doesn't really feel like the show is much shorter. And uh, the way that you can watch it now is we're not a daytime show anymore, we're an anytime show. And they each show will air daily, Monday through Thursday, at 2 a.m. Pacific, 5 a.m. Eastern Time, so when you wake up in the morning, you've got your show there ready for you. And whenever you want to watch it, you just hit click. You don't have to program your DVR or, 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 or wait for it to come on. We're there anytime. Yeah, anytime you want it. And the production <laughs> values, too. I mean, I think people expected, you know, oh, what is it? It's moving to the internet. Is it going to look like something my dad shot on yeah. this <laughs> camcorder? <laughs> you know what I mean? And not even close. I mean, it looks like a yeah. gorgeous primetime television show. With beautiful pictures and gorgeous sets and amazing music and they really care about the acting so we're getting a great chance to give our best performances and uh, and you should definitely watch One Life just for Tuck because he's very very funny. Katie makes a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> well from what I've heard about the premiere we're, we're kind of seeing it from a little bit from David's point of view is that accurate? Well when we last saw David married to his three-time wife Dorian he was producing a reality show about himself because he's not exactly the most humble person on the planet. <laughs> and Dorian was in Washington, D.C., uh, ruling the country. So while the cat's been away, the mouse has been at play, and David's going to get in quite a bit of trouble when the cat returns. I love that they did like a little fantasy thing, too. Like they have this really neat um, thing that they do that I don't know if they ever did before. Like our, our characters have fantasies now, just like, uh, just, you know, soap is sometimes a fantasy for mm -hmm. other people. Well, now we're having our own fantasies. So yeah. you get to watch like our <laughs> subtext in a way. And that cuts <laughs> back to reality. Yeah, layer <laughs> upon layer is being revolved. Uh, Evolved. Revealed. Revealed. 
And, you know, on the other side of that, in a less fun way, you know, the, the little clip I saw of Dixie, she's looking at a picture of Tad. You know, where is she five years later? What, what can we expect to, to see? Where, what can we expect from her? Well, I think the most important thing to Dixie is keeping her family together. I mean, she loves her kids so much. And, uh, and she loves her extended family so much. And so that's really sort of her part in, in the larger sort of, you know, story of All My Children. But she also has a new profession. She has Ooh. a job, Ooh. which is a big deal for Dixie because she's always been a wife and a mom. You know, I think she was a patient advocate for a little while. And she really, you know, was kind of stuck in that kind of 50s role. But now, you know, she's got a job. She's a modern woman. And uh, I'm very excited about that. I understood almost none of that. <laughs> David is really only interested in money, like he always has been. <laughs> well, you, you know, it's very useful. <laughs> good, good to have a dime. <laughs> and, you know, I'm curious, I don't know if you guys have even seen one yet or shot one yet, but these Friday um, behind-the-scenes episodes, do you know what we can expect from those? What, what are they going to be like? Is it going to be just you guys talking about the week? or? From what I understand, it's really kind of progressive. Um, they have all kinds of interesting, you know, surprises in store for us. I'm not sure how much I can tell you, but uh, I'm quite intrigued, to be honest with you. So, um you know, check it out. More All My Children and more One Life to Live. So there'll be new episodes Monday through Thursday on Hulu and Hulu.com. And then on Friday, there's uh, sort of a recap show in a way that also has some extra tidbits in it. Oh, I love how Tuck gets all the facts in there. So we know where, where to find it, how to watch it. Although That's right. he did not get to make that amazing Susie Homemaker video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. thank you. I have no emotions. I just know numbers. <laughs> How much fun was that to make and oh. just go totally character? And it's a blast. Do you know my Susie? I've, I, I've seen it. Okay. <laughs> I basically, uh, I just riff because uh, I, I sit in front of my computer and I become Susie and then I just sort of talk into the computer for about 20 minutes, half hour, and then I edit it all together. You know, that's kind of part of it. I find, find her moments. So it, it's a blast. I love doing it. I started doing it just to entertain myself. So, <laughs> better to do it on <laughs> camera than to yourself on the street in Manhattan. <laughs> That's right. That can be Absolutely. dangerous. That was close. Although that, that is close. a good way to get lots of room on the uh, on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good point. So some have called internet TV the Wild West, and I'm wondering, aside from the stylistic stuff, what is the biggest difference you've noticed? Not quite working for the the network and the band. Is is it affecting storytelling? Is it affecting vibe, like just everything. How are you feeling that difference as members of the cast? Well, I think people watch television differently now. In fact, in a few years, I bet we're not even going to call it watching television anymore. It's going to be called something that we don't even know what it is because lots of people, including myself at my ripe old age, watch TV on our smartphones. I watch TV episodes on my, smart on my iPhone or on, on my iPad. And so with that kind of viewing, you need to be faster paced. You need to be able to watch it, pause it, con and continue watching it without getting lost. So you'll see faster paced uh, editi editing, storytelling, and uh, a little bit edgier. I sort of feel like yeah. I've joined this amazing, like super successful rock band. And <laughs> Can you sing? <laughs> yeah, a little. Let's hear a few <laughs> notes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, you first, you first. Um, but no, but like the production is just has this kind of rock and roll quality. It's like super passionate and like let's go and like you know. And yet they have these incredible resources. So you know we're we're doing a, a amazing stuff. So I'm I'm just on feel like I'm on a wild. It is like the wild west only with a lot of power behind it. Mm hmm. Right. I wasn't sure about phrasing that way because I know that you know you have people that know what they're doing there. But oh at the yeah. Same time you're not working for ABC, which is kind of the big the big powerhouse. Well, that's what's been great about working with Prospect Park, a, a new entity, and being supported by ABC is um, we have uh, new eyes on a project that's been there for, for a long time, and uh, we, can, uh, we can tell edgier stories. We don't have, you know, uh, we don't have a, you know, sort of a, an umbrella that sort of looks down on us and, and so gives notes and things like that. So we have a little bit more autonomy and we have more interaction with the fans through social media. So I think the fans' uh, opinions and input will be heard even more on this platform. And on that note, actually, for our final question, do you each have a message to the fans before the big premiere? 
Oh, just a, a total love and gratitude. Uh, you're um, to the fans of you know the soaps of All My Children and One Life to Live. Like we as actors, I think I can you know speak for everybody. We love you and we appreciate you, and we just are so excited about you coming uh, and joining us again on this adventure. A lot of times, people put a grassroots effort together to try to make something happen, and it doesn't work. Well, this grassroots effort worked, and we're we're back on now. So. Come see us starting the 29th on Hulu. And thank you.